Hi guys! Today I'm going to share a trick with you on painting, whether it's oil paint, acrylic paint or water paint, it doesn't matter. But there's a concept you need to be aware of, and that's edges. There's a big power in edges, and I'm going to explain the three that there are. There's three types, sharp edges, soft edges, and lost edges. Let's have a look at some examples. Have a look for example. We have here a very dark area, it's a shadow area with a lot of soft edges going in there. Because we don't want too much focus on there, and we want to give the impression that it's a bit further away. The can isn't uh, as sharply wrinkled at all, at all places. So here, for example, it's more rounded. And as you can see, this is quite a soft edge to indicate that roundness of the can. And it's very nice to combine your uh, hard edges with higher contrasts. As you can tell here, it's quite dark. And then a sharp edge and then a very bright uh, bright area. So that indicates also the sharpness again. And here we have it a bit more rounded again due to the soft edges with a slight highlight in the middle. Still soft edge. With this wine bottle, we actually see a lot of sharp edges, mainly on the area which is hit by the light uh, and where you want to have focus on. For example, this little peel. The softer edges are on the darker side, indicating that roundedness again. This painting was made with acrylics and I made it a couple of years ago. What I would do differently perhaps next time is on this very sharp side, I would give it a slightly softer edge probably to indicate that roundedness. These things do come by experience. Also interesting to note here, is this lost edge. We have this very dark part on the bottle and it, it kind of blends with the background. So that edge is lost. In this example, you can really see how lost edges are pushed very far backwards and it gets your subject in the front to really pop out. We have sharp edges, mainly here on the dress, but overall, the whole piece is painted quite softly. That's to enhance the feeling that it's a child. It's a gentle object you're painting here. And that you can emphasize again with softer edge work like this. This is all rather soft. And it also appears even more soft due to the fact that the colors are quite uh, close to each other, as you can tell. Now, in the background, where we have the ocean, uh, the, the lake, meet the horizon, we have a lost edge. You do not see a clear edge there. I really wanted to have the impression that that's far away. Besides using an edge, I also indicated that with very purplish bluish colors, which appear further away than the warmer colors we have here in the front. Also here, you see a lot of edge play. Here on the top, it's a, quite a soft edge, as you can see. It's also because the color again is quite similar to that of the background. I don't want too much focus there. Here you see the red line and uh, the contrast part is accentuated again with a very sharp edge work. Now, we also have here lost edges, very simply done actually with a few strokes, but it does add a lot of depth. We know that these are two broccolis held together by a rubber band. We know that there's depth there, but we do not see where this broccoli piece goes over and switch with that broccoli piece. So that's again the added depth. Here you can see how soft edges, for example, can indicate also the material that you're trying to show. With this cocktail, I want to have the focus on the glass part here. And of course we have a napkin, which, is, uh, which it rests on. And a napkin is a soft material. So for that soft material, I use a bit softer edges, a bit more muted colors. I don't want the focus on there. I just want it to be there and present and that the brain of the viewer fills in, hey, that's a napkin. Also here, this is basically upstanding 
part of the napkin. Uh, with shadow, you see again a lost edge between the napkin itself and the shadow it casts. Now where it hits the, the light, where the light hits the table again, there's a soft edge. And trust me, it's really fun to play around with this edge work. Now, you have this lemon peel inside the, the cocktail there. And also to indicate that it's a bit further away, that it's in a bit of a cloudy cocktail uh, drink, uh, it's also a bit more muted and softened with the edge work. And the part that's closer to you is slightly sharper, but still quite soft. Thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't done so yet, please hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on any new videos, new tips or new processes on my painting journey. Happy painting!